Silhouette Studio 4.2 introduces Print Bleed as a feature for all editions, standard and above. In the Page Setup panel, you'll find the option to turn on Print Bleed at the bottom of the panel. Check the box for Print Bleed, and all of the colored designs on your page will print with the color extended beyond the original design. The cut line itself will remain in place. This allows your Silhouette machine to cut off the excess color on your printing cut leaving no white edges on your final cutout. You will not see a preview of the print bleed on your design page at this time. It will only show up when the document is printed. The default bleed radius of 0.05 inches can be adjusted up or down based on your personal needs. The printout with print bleed enabled may look a little awkward because of the extra color, but that extra color gets cut off when you send it to your silhouette machine. Here are a few things to pay attention to as you work with print bleed. If your design has a white background, you will not get any print bleed effect. The background next to your design must be clear. If your design has clear space between the colored portions and the cut line, the color will bleed, but the cut lines will not hug the design, and you really don't want that. If you do want to have a white border around your designs, then turn off print bleed, or make sure that the area that extends beyond your colored portion has a white fill color instead of clear. Remember to turn on registration marks and verify you have cut lines before printing so your silhouette machine knows where to cut. Print Bleed works for any colored objects on your page that will be printed, whether that's images, designs, or colored text. Checking the box applies to all objects on the page. We hope you enjoy this new print bleed feature available in all editions of Silhouette Studio 4.2.